What is up, guys? Welcome to Round Robin Radio, episode 13, with another very, very special guest. We've got Mr. Chris Kripsalisk in the house. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Kripsalisk has been on my bucket list for I, I can't tell you how long. I've got a list of of artists. I was telling him that I want to get on the label, and this it's honestly it's a bucket list um sort of interview for me a set for us and i think long before i was playing your music but we'll get into it later and even since uh, when he first performed for us at truth yeah but uh, we're gonna get into that later but i'm just so honored to have you here thank you thank you for having me man thank you for having me and if this is your first time checking out round robin radio guys check out the channel there is so many amazing interviews there's so much music um it's really it's just a haven for house music and everything electronic so we thank you guys for tuning in please subscribe so you don't miss anything and um yeah we are gonna be kicking off with a set for myself i'm gonna be featuring more tracks from the round robin catalog that are going to be releasing soon some other exclusive premieres and as always, just some tracks from friends and fellow labels. But we'll check in with Cripsalis again soon. We're gonna be chatting to him and just delving into him as an artist and what he, how that mind works and just the music. So thank you very much. We'll chat to you in a second and we'll see you guys on the flip side. Taken from the brand new MKJ release, EP titled The Change. This is Medicine Man, my favorite track from the EP. This EP has been getting such great support. Be sure to go check it out. Beatport, Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere.
So, sort of setting the groove for Crypsilisk, I wanted to go a little bit darker with today's set, and I was reminded of this track. It's more than 10 years old. It was one of my first productions. Um, it was inspired by the sound of that time upstairs of Truth. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. This started off, um, it was originally a collab with Tim ODV, before, long before he was Tim ODV, and that's actually him on vocals. Uh, we were just messing around in the studio, busy learning Cubase. It was a very cool time for myself as a producer, you know, sort of just a great experience. But this track still today reminds me of that darker, deeper, dubbier upstairs sound. Let me know what you think of this bass line in the comments.
coming soon to Round Robin Recordings on the Bones official remix album. I cannot wait for this one. It's Bones and Random Fact featuring Alex Waxing Moon. And this is the Gift of Africa remix. This is the first premiere. This album is going to be absolute fire. Remixes of all your favorite tracks from the Bones albums and compilations.
before we flatline too late to rewind mindsets need to be reset redesigned unwind from this mortal coil plant your heart and feet in the soil cause these old ways ain't loyal plant some new shit and then fix it the planet That is, cuz Deadline No time Gotta save the planet before we Flatline Deadline No time Gotta save the planet before we Flatline Here matters. It seeps 
core becomes its energy, its force, its fire like lava or love. We choose whether to burn or whether to build, whether to kill or whether to create, whether to make new, whether to make better, whether to make together, what we leave here matters. track you're listening to right now this is LaBelle and it's the Tim Cosman remix and just before that it was the master Steve Bug it's his remix of Poem for the Planet and that is by Ursula Rucker and Hannes Bieger
this is the arc and it's by stigmat stigmata and before that we were listening to a track by a friend of the label he was recently on the show random fact and it's a collab with natek and it's called sensual and sensuous next up we are going to be listening to the official malik Fakir remix for kxl and mac rendell the garden one of my absolute favorites and one of the biggest tracks from this season Oh, you wouldn't 
You wouldn't keep me 
another one of my older favorites. This is my collaboration with Third Identity. It's called Collateral Symphony and it's out on Proton Music. It released a while back, although I'm busy working on a follow-up release for it just to sort of breathe new life into it because it's just, this track just still slaps today. Like you can play it in so many different sets. It's so diverse and it just works on a dance floor.
And that is the last one from me. We're going to chat to Mr. Kripsalisk in a second and then listen to an amazing set from him. I'm closing off this set with a teleportation. It's by Frankie Carbone. And thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the tracks. Go to the Round Robin recordings, other websites to find our Spotify and Apple Music playlists or onto Beport to check out all of the tracks, the releases that I played from the label. Otherwise, go support the artist. Full track list is up. We'll catch you guys in a minute. And that brings us to the end of the first half of the show. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Most of those tracks are available now on the Round Robin catalog and um, we've told you guys where to find on the other labels and the exclusive ones will be out very soon. But it is time to now speak to the man, Crypsilisk. Dude, thank you so much again for being here. Thank you, man. Thank you, man, for having me here. I, I really, I, I was trying to think of where to start. Um, okay. I think, let's get like the basic stuff out of the way. Just tell the guys a little bit about sort of where you started your journey into music um, and just like, yeah, how you got to where you are now. Uh, I think this started back in, in high school. There was this other dude, man. He used to make uh, life sets. He only did life sets, but in his type of sound was more of your dub techno. But in where I come from, dub techno is not really like, no, no, we don't really like play that type of sound. So I was, I was intrigued, man. I was like, but I need to know how to do this. Mm. And because we had Deep House, we had Deep House, we had your Deep Tags, and this was late 2008. Okay, so quite a while back. Quite a while back, quite a while back. So I was like, I'm, I'm intrigued with this sound. Let, let, me, let me do my research. And then when I got to know uh, a little background for, from, from the sound, that's when I got my groove, man. But then, uh, in terms of sound wise, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm a big deep techno fan, dub techno fan, and I'm a big deep tech fan. So I try to to fuse the two together so that mm. it, bring, it brings out the the creep in it. The, the best of both worlds, just of blending both them, making yeah, that hybrid sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. And then that just sort of progressed into one thing. And, yeah, and yeah. I'm trying to think. I think Wave Mini was the f the first one who introduced me to your music, but I mean, this is years ago. I can't even remember when. Mm. Um, and since then, it's just like for me, I don't know. There was a signature sort of deep kind of ground that you yes, had. That yes. that you know, we've like you said, we've got deep house. I mean, this is South Africa. We've got yeah, deep house. Yeah, we have. Uh, you know, we've we've got that one down. <laughs> but you, you brought this this darker, edgier, uh, like yes, a bit more edge to it, yes. which I think is something that, that that I really enjoyed. And then. Okay, so you got to that point, and obviously, you know, now here we are. You you were telling me that, um, you know, it was a bit quiet for a while, so you can tell us a bit about sort of that journey, why it was like that, and then your new release that just happened now, and sort of how you get the, the comeback now, you know, oh, with, the, with, with your sound. With Selville, with Selville. Selville, yeah. Yeah, 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 man. I think, I don't, I, I don't know, I, I, I thought I had found my sound, but then when you you keep on reinventing yourself, you tend to find that, okay, I can, I can go more than what I'm doing now, mm. but I still keep the the sound that you had. So with the Silville record, I think uh, it was more of an experiment, the diving more into the the dub techno sound, mm. uh, but I'm still fusing it with other elements from our, our, our sound, you know, our mm. South African sound. So yeah, I think that's where, that's where I am right now at this point. Because I, I think you make a good point there. Like I've seen it with myself. I've seen it with other artists. When you, you know, when you do take a step back, you know, sort yeah. of, sort of just tweaking your sound and finding that inspiration again. Yeah. It's yeah. always like you did. You when you came back now, we can hear it's scriptless, but yeah. we can also hear it's changed. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, the, it's involved, and, and it's always nice when somebody. You know, you, you wonder like, okay, I haven't seen a track down for a while, and they come back and like, that's why. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's it's fresh. You know, it's not, you know, when guys are pumping out tracks every week, you know, often you know you can hear their sound but you know the the big sort of variations in it you know yeah. the real inspiration when there's a shift in sort of the the, the tonic feel of the track exactly. um, and, or the of the sound you know exactly exactly and um what else do you have planned for the year music wise uh right now i'm busy with music man. My, my focus right now is only one production and perfecting the sound that I want. But I've got a few releases coming up uh, with you guys, with you guys. Bucket list, <laughs> bucket list, check. <laughs> yeah, I've got a, a few releases coming up, a few remixes there and there, and life sets coming up too. Uh, we recently did the, the Living Room. Mm. Uh, that was gig. like a week or two ago. Yeah, that, that was a week ago. So I think we're gonna do another one in the next coming months. But if, apart from that one, uh, I think it's music, man. It's just music one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I must, like, I had to tell you guys just like the experience that I had when <laughs> we booked you in 2019 for Upstairs at Truth. Truth. Yeah. And yeah. for those of you who know, sort of, you know, it's a very tight knit culture. It is. And it at is. that point, you know, I was putting on a couple of new faces and 
you know, sometimes people wonder, oh, you know, we need to stick with the residents or, you know, it's always, like I said, it's tight knit. And I was like, just trust me, like, uh, <laughs> you, like, well, I mean, not that you were new, but I mean, yeah. it was your first time there. Well, I was new. Uh, I was you know, new. Yeah. And, and I was just like, guys, just trust me and do that set. The, the, the way that you just, that was the upstairs sound. It was <laughs> deep and it was, you know, it had those melodic sort of deep house elements, but it was grounding. Like it was party music. Like that was the best set of the night. Everyone was blown away. Everybody told me after, it's like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get the, it. The energy also reciprocated from from the crowd. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know upstairs, man. You know upstairs. Having the crowd like here as well, yeah. like where you can touch them, <laughs> that like intimate feeling. You exactly, know, um, exactly. It's, it's always it's always good. Exactly. And then I think just a question I ask all the producers, like for the tech geeks out there, just tell us a little bit about how you make your music, what your setup is. Um, what software you like to use, just like you know, however, whatever it may be, just give the, the guys a bit of an inside look. Uh, my setup, man, is, is basic, man. It's just me, my headphones, and my laptop. That's it. And golden have... ears. <laughs> 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 I don't have any external uh, hardware. It's just me and my laptop. But then I think, I think, out of from that, uh, the main thing is inspiration. If there's no inspiration, I uh, you'll be just making music based on on you and what you feel. Mm. So it, it depends on days. Sometimes you need to listen to something and get the inspiration from there. But mm. then sometimes it's just you mm. starting from scratch. Experimenting. Yeah, so I don't really have a, a what you call, a sort of like a remedy or a type of situation where I go through in order to make it a, a process. A, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have that one. So it depends on, on the mood. But the situation at hand. Well, I, think, I, I think that's the best way to create art. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, yeah. it's, you just yeah. you sit down and it's like a deck of cards. You don't know what what yeah, hand yeah, you're gonna have for the day. Can, yes. So, yes. But exactly. you just keep at it, and then that's where the the, the real golden nuggets come exactly. in between. Okay. Exactly. No, that is awesome, exactly. dude. Again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. Thank I'm you. really excited thank to hear the set, ladies and gents. It's Kripslisk. Um, let's hear what he has.
thank you, Crypsilisk. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. So he was telling me, I believe this is your debut sort of interview. First yeah, time yeah. we really yeah. given the audience an inside peek into the life and the music. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, please subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of really awesome content coming but a lot of it is dependent on you our audience so again thank you for being here and if you haven't seen it go to the previous episode episode 12 and go check out random fact if you stay to the very end you can see a clip of him landing a hard flip and a kick flip <laughs> <laughs> which we forced him to do in the parking lot <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for being here guys um be sure to catch the show the back catalog is on www.roundrobinrecordings.com and also if you are a producer and you'd like to send a demo or if you have an upcoming track and you would like to do a premiere on the show hit us up at roundrobinrecordings at gmail.com we'd love to hear music and if it fits the show we'd love to do a premiere for you but other guys, guys, we will catch you on another episode next month. We have another special guest lined up. Um, I'm really excited about the, the sort of lineup that we have coming. But thank you all. Thank you, Krupp. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you. And we'll see you guys soon.